Um, we'd been working really, really hard to try to get Fred, and as you see, we got Fred um, uh, pinned up here in uh, this new goat pen that we got. He, we're gonna leave him here for a couple days and let him settle down. And then once he gets settled down and everything, um, so yeah, after we get him loaded up and everything, um, we've got an appointment to get him into freezer camp. So he will be taking a road trip. And what we're gonna be doing today is, um, I'm gonna go back here behind our property. There's some hay back here. And um, I'm gonna go over and get a couple bells. We're gonna bring it back and um, put them in each pen. Do they have to have it? No, but I just want them to have some extra hay and stuff. If, if they want it, it's there. Um, like I say many times before, goats, you have to force them to eat um, what you want them to eat because they will not eat everything, not unless you make them. So um, we're fixing to top of the hill, go over the hill, go down here and get a few round bells. Um, a couple and then um, we're going to feed them and then we're going to go back here to the uh, deer plot and we're going to start doing some work back there so stay tuned to see the rest of the video we want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching we greatly appreciate all y'all's love and support it's absolutely amazing and i know we say it all the time but i want you to really know that y'all are more than just a, a viewer to us um, we really enjoy reading the comments So guys, if you haven't watched the video all the way through, uh, you probably think uh, I've stole this hay. But uh, we're crossing a creek here because I'm going to take my neighbor his part of the hay. Uh, he said he had 10 bells over here. Uh, and he said his, he hadn't got his tractor fired up, so I figured I'd just come over and uh, deliver them to him and buy a couple off of him while I'm over here. So. Now this is a pretty spooky little creek here. We're going to take these over to the goat our place. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now? I'm going to hop off here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut cut the um, the wrapping and then once get the wrapping cut I'm just going to pull it in there and easily set it in there um, I know sometimes you dump them on their top or this this bottom part here is on the ground but I kind of like keeping them this way means that we're out here with the animals every day we know we can keep an eye on it because sometimes the babies will get in there and eat and they collapse. But we didn't have any issues with this last year. I do know it seemed like they wasted it once I uh, dumped it on its bottom. So we're gonna try it this way, see how it goes. Goats know something's up now. I'll probably have to get one of the kids or Steph to come over and help. It's looks some pretty good wrap though. The bells seem to be, well, no, they're not as tight as what I thought it was, but I know the ones last year, they was really tight. Um, don't know much about the hay, but yeah, you're not supposed to be able to stick your hand all the way halfway in, but it is what it is. It looks like pretty good hay. So what I do is just kind of roll it up as a, a ball here. 
the llamas are already over here. And I'll try to pull it off the top. And I'll leave that for the llamas to eat when we will ease in here and dump it over the fence. I'm gonna set this over here. Watch it, Badger. Watch it. Hip, hip, hip. Hey, 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 hey. We'll bring it down up like this. If I can get it to shake off the Yeah, just like that. I like that. That'll work right there. So we'll go over and get one more round bell and we'll bring it over here to the other pin and they should be good to go. I'll show you in just a second. All right, guys, so they all got a, a round bell now. We're gonna take this over here so we can actually throw it in the burn pile. But, um, so now I'm gonna sit back and see how much of it it is. There's no goats over there at that bell. But I haven't seen Fred yet. That's what I'm looking for. That hay's there if they need it, and that's the main deal is I just wanted to have some hay there. Because it is, I mean, the, the grass and the weeds are getting kind of low. So, I'm going to grab me a drink, then we'll go back there and see if we can find Fred. Because I cannot find Fred right now. I haven't seen him. We've seen him right before church, but I haven't seen him since. All right, guys. So, uh, we're back here in the hunting area. And uh, we're going to start tilling this up. I want to uh, start trying to uh, plant some seeds and stuff in here. Um, that way the, the deer can come in and eat. And not only that, get rid of some of the weeds. So we're gonna try to kill a little bit of it and uh, see how it all works out. Hopefully it works out. I'm not for sure. I figure we'll, you know, kill this whole area. And uh, when we get some rain ready, I'll cut, go get some winter weed or something like that, and then I can plant that, and then it should be good.
chain right there. Wow. What is that? I don't know. I mean, it's a chain, but it's an old one. Hi. That's, that's pretty crazy. I think I, I tried to trap. I bet at one time this was like some kind of, because here's a swivel here. I bet that was for some kind of uh, bobcat or something. Trap. Mm -hmm. It was right here. I mean, this is the path of that bobcat always comes through. But, anyways, we got the we got the ground, you know, tilled up a little bit. I wanted to break the ground, and what we'll probably end up doing is uh, we'll get one of those sprinklers. We'll come out here. And we'll just get enough of hoses to bring them back here and we'll start sprinkling this and then we'll get it to where we can uh, get some seed and stuff planted but um i wanted to go ahead and get this do this and just kind of see what was under it just break the ground you know if anything um, yeah we um we planted some seed last year but i don't think it ended up doing any good so maybe this year we can plant some winter weed or something like that and we'll see how it does but okay guys so it's the next day we made it back down here to the deer blind and uh we're going to go ahead and paint it today if stuff is showing around here so what we're going to do is we're going to come up i'm going to cut another piece to come all the way across here and then we're going to go into painting it um we tried to, I tried a little bit the other day, just kind of messing around, see if it's going to work. And I think it'll work for the most part. Um, probably come back and put some uh, sealer in here. And uh, that way the rain and stuff won't affect it. And then we got a few screws we got to put in here. And hopefully by the end of the day, this looks all camouflaged. So we're going to try to cut this board and go all the way across. When you don't have a tape measure and stuff down here, you do it a different way. On the inside or outside? You see the mark? Yeah. Be on the outside. It's a crooked. <laughs> it's warped. It's fine. It is. Uh, oh, I remember we had to add a piece over there on that side. I remember now. Uh, Brayley, hand me that screw gun. All right. See that? We're gonna have to cut all the screws though. The tips, we're yeah, gonna cut those. Yeah. All right guys, so this is, I think this will be good enough. Um, I was worried about that big opening, but making this smaller, we can still allow, we can still see out here uh, when the deer and stuff come in. Uh, the back door, I'm gonna end up making the back door up at the house, and then we'll bring it down here and we'll just close it when we come in. Um, so I think it's gonna work out pretty good. So now we're gonna get the paint and see if we can paint it. All right, so we got the paint now. We're gonna let Kaysen Open this, and you can go ahead and start spraying a little bit there. You don't have to get super close. Uh, right. no, don't put your hands in. Hold it like this. Let's see. Take it out. Yeah, you're going to have to push it hard. Subway surfers. Back up, Rayleigh. It's better than Daddy. 
All right, move around a little bit. Daddy, All right. can you get on top of Down that? Down here. All right. All right. Now let's get uh, Addison with yours. What's that, like brownish grayish? The brown will kind of go over the green. It, it, it don't matter, just go. Mm -hmm. Hard, remember? It looks like a purple. Back up, Rayleigh. All right, let let go now. That's a pretty black. Thumb. Use your thumb, baby. Hard. Ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. All right, do it again. Ready? Yeah. Go. You should explain this is for Phoebe and you never do this. Yeah. Um, All right, yeah. that was that's illegal if you do this. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just finished up. That's going to be the front of it. We got the boards um, secured. Um, like I say, all we like now is just the actual door. Um, they're painting the back, but that really don't matter because there's nothing going to actually be back there. Um, but the sides... So that's the deer blind. What do y'all think? Y'all excited? Yeah, I think we're gonna. This is a good spot because that it blends in with more of the trees. Yeah. Because yeah. of how green it is. I think it will too. I think it's gonna be a good spot. And like I say, we're fixing to um, get some seed and stuff and we'll start planting it out there. And uh, we're gonna get it to growing out here. And uh, boy, that breeze sure does feel good. Um, we're going to get everything growing and um, yeah, we're going to try to get us harvest one of those big old bucks. Um, I know what used, used to our deer blind was right here, right here beside this tree. And you could always hear the deer over there, but we can never see them there. So maybe we can actually see them right through there. But as you see, we left some trees right here to kind of block it. And it kind of blends in, it really does. So all the deer really come up from back there and then come over from that side. There's been some big ones come up over there. So anyways, that's gonna, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today. We wanna thank each and every one of y'all for watching our videos. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Check that notification bell, that way you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you and God bless.